Hi Paper Crafters, Olga here. Today I'm going to create a watercolor card with lots of shaker windows. First I have created a top folding 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half card base. Then I have used the largest die from um, Rectangle Basics die set by Memory Box to cut a panel of the same size out of watercolor paper. And then I have also used uh, the next size die to create these three frames out of blue cardstock. Now I'm going to use uh, the liquid adhesive, which is Ranger Multimedia Matte, to stack all three frame die cuts one on top of another. If you are interested in the tools and products that I'm using, they are listed on my blog as well as in the description. I will start building up my scene now, and the first die I'm using is Waverly Border by Poppy Stamps. I'm positioning it closer to the bottom of the card, taping it down, and then I'm going to run it through the die cutting machine. It cuts out a pretty negative pattern. I'll be using some dies by Gumea Pan to create my scene. They are called Pines, Sadam and Spinning Flower. But my three-year-old son has his own names for these images. He'll tell them to you now. Mikey, what's this? Black peppers. And what's this? Flower. And what's this? Spaceship. And what's this? Lollipop. Thank you, Mikey. So this is his vision of what they are. Now I am arranging all the elements on a card front and uh, then I'm going to tape down and die cut only the blackberry bush and a spaceship. The next element I'm going to cut is a lollipop, or in my case, it's the sun. I only need to die cut the circle and not the stem, and that's why I'm going to position this circle between the cutting plates and uh, leave the stem hanging off the, the edge of the plate. I'm going to run it through the machine like this, and this way only the circle will be die cut. I'm planning to turn these negative shapes into shaker windows later on. But before I do this, I need to color the background first. I'm placing my panel on a non-stick sheet, and then I'm applying water at both sides of the paper. This way the paper will not be curling up while you are coloring. I'm going to use peerless watercolors. I'm just picking up some pigment with a wet brush and then dripping it onto the wet surface of the paper. I have applied some yellow around the sun and then I'm introducing some blues and applying more greens towards the bottom of the panel. Peerless watercolors are very easy to blend, actually they are doing it all by themselves. When the paper is dry, I'm also adding some blue splattering all around the panel. Next, I'm flipping my panel over and I'm applying tape adhesive behind uh, the scalloped negative pattern. Then I'm going to place it on a non-stick uh, sheet again. I am actually planning to inlay all those tiny little pieces, and it is much easier than it might seem. All you have to do is to die cut this pattern again, and I have used a dark green cardstock for this. Then I'm placing the die back where it belongs until it kind of clicks into place. You see those tiny holes for poking out the die cuts? All I have to do is to press into each of these holes with a needle tool, and this way all the die cuts will be stuck to the adhesive. If some die cuts fell out of the die, just add them back manually. Mm -hmm. 
The next way is inlaying the trees and the sun outlines into the windows. I'm placing it back at the wrong side and then I'm running the tape over it so that it covers both the die cut and the background. This way the image will stay put. I repeated this process for all the die cuts and uh, now I'm going to stick a piece of acetate behind all the images. I have also applied the foam tape all around the panel at the wrong side, leaving uh, the trees and the sun open, and now I'm going to fill in all the shaker windows with sequins. I'm using the yellow ones for the sun and the green ones for the trees. Both sequin mixes are by Cat Scrappiness, they are called Buttercup and uh, Margarita Mix. I'm carefully peeling off the protective paper and then I'm going to cover up the shaker windows with pieces of cardstock. I'll be using the white one for the sun and the green ones for the trees. Then I'm applying more adhesive onto the cardstock and sticking my uh, card base on top. The next step is sticking down the frame. The last tree I'm going to create will be a freestanding shaker element. I have die cut the tree outline out of blue cardstock and now I'm tracing it to be able to cut out the background. I will also need a piece of acetate of the same shape, so I'm just cutting around the background again. Now I'm going to attach the acetate to the tree outline. I will also need three more tree die cuts. I'm going to trim off all the branches and only leave this outline. I'm using uh, both blue and green die cuts just because I ran out of blue cardstock. You can use the same color cardstock for the three images. I'm going to stick all three die cuts one on top of another and this way I will get a dimensional outline. Now I am attaching this dimensional outline to the background. Now I can fill in this shape with sequins. Now we can apply liquid adhesive all around the border and stick the top part on top. Because this shaker element is freestanding, we can overlap the trees that are already in the background and it will also add some dimension. The last step is attaching some sequins right on top of the card front. 
And that finishes my card for today. Thank you for watching this tutorial till the end. If you would like to see more inspirational videos, just tap on the picture in the screen. Have a fantastic day and happy crafting!